Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a 69 Chevelle with a Yanko setup on it. Man, this thing looks great. The interior is beautiful. There's a 427 under the hood. You're gonna love checking it out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it on the lift so you can look at the bottom side. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that 427. We're gonna look at that interior. We'll look inside the trunk. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your Chevelle investment. So come on up and let's take a nice close look. So look at this beauty, man. The paint is amazing. It's got the Yanko stripes on it. Great looking chrome on the front bumper. You know what? The chrome on that front bumper may just be original to the car. That goes to show you what nice care this car has been taken care of its entire life. Now we got a great looking grill here. When you look down the side, straight as an arrow, we got the 427 badges on there and the stripes going down the side. It's got the real Yanko badge on it. It's got the uh, tires, the wide ovals, just an amazing build on the car. All of the stainless is in good shape. The door handle also looks original to the car. It's in beautiful shape for being from 1969. And look at the door jams here. Look how nice and clean they are. Nicely painted. Rubber looks like it was replaced. Door panels in good shape. Carpeting looks good in there. Dash is in beautiful shape. Steering wheel looks good. Center console looks great. We got seat belts in the front. Um, headliners in good shape. Back seat doesn't look like it was ever sat in. Just a beautiful car. The dash pad itself is in great shape also. Being a Yanko clone, I'll tell you what, you want to talk about getting some attention, drive this baby to the car show and people are going to be following you around. This thing is sharp, guys. Again, back tires match the front. The uh, chrome here on the back bumper also looks like it may be original to the car. It's in beautiful shape. And uh, the lights aren't blacked out like they should be also. Emblem looks good. Inside the trunk looks brand spanking new. Back side of the quarter panels are nice and clean. Wheel wells are nice and tight. Trunk floor itself is in beautiful shape. Paint on the bottom side of the deck lid also looks good. All the gutters here around the deck lid look good. I can see some stamped numbers in here still. The rubber was replaced. You look down the side of the car, painter did a beautiful job. This baby's straight. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we spend the time to check the cars out before we buy them. Now I'm involved in buying every one of the cars here at Vanguard Motor Sales. So what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience helping you pick out your dream car. Let's go for a ride in this Chevelle. Man, does the exhaust sound good on this baby. 427 power under the hood, beautiful paint job, all the Yanko stripes. I tell you, there are gonna be people following you around in this baby. She is sweet, guys. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts, so we can ship the Chevelle anywhere in the world. You just call Tom at 248-974. 9513 and he can tell you how easy it is to ship this car anywhere you live in the world and if you need a little help on financing we can help you with that too we've got about three bankers right now we work with 15 minute phone call with one of the bankers and this dream is in your drive listen to that exhaust man she sounds sweet now look down here on the dash um that we've got the uh, tack working the Speedo's working. It's got just the AM radio in it. We do have all our gauges that we need down here. 
Uh, those are all aftermarket there. Now, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're right outside the Motor City. We're only 20 minutes from the airport, so if you want to fly in and check out one of our cars, we'll even come down to the airport and pick you up. Now, we're open on Saturdays, too, so if you want to road trip it on a Saturday, hop in your car and come out and visit, just let us know you're coming. We're here 9 to 3 on Saturdays. Now we're bringing in about 240, uh, actually we have 240 cars, we're bringing in 40 cars a month. So we've always got something new going on. Now the steering wheel's not perfectly straight on this baby and we've got a, a brand new Hunter alignment rack. So we'll throw this baby up on the alignment rack and we'll get that steering wheel perfectly straight for you. Now we're going to do something that nobody else in the industry does right now. We're going to put this car up in the air so you can see how nice the bottom side is. Then we're going to pop the hood and take a look at that 427 power. Now here's our store right here. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. And listen to this baby go. Man, does it sound good. All right, guys, unfortunately, Greg is out of the shop for a little while, so you are stuck with me for the end of this video. This is the underside of the uh, 1969 Yanko clone. Um, starting from the back forward as we normally do, uh, something I'd like to point out is I don't believe this has had a trunk pan put in it at any point. Uh, looks, at least if they did do it, I cannot see a seam, which uh, implies if they did do it, excellent worksmanship. If not, uh, original sheet metal, which is always a big bonus. Uh, we do have, it looks like a brand new gas tank in this thing, which is a big plus. The exhaust looks nice and fresh on it, and I would like to point out it is mandrel bends. That's also a big positive. Um, for the rear end here, this is a, a GM 12 bolt, as you can see. Uh, the gear ratio that's in this is right around a 360 gear ratio. It is indeed a posi as well. And attached to it, I'd like to point out, are these uh, uh, KYB uh, gas shocks, which are uh, just, they're way above what the stock stuff was. And I can tell you from personal experience that it has turned a dump truck into a Cadillac. Um, something else with the rear end here I'd like to point out, we do have Hotchkiss upper and lower uh, boxed in arms here, so a performance upgrade for sure. Moving forward to that, drive shaft feels good, all of our U-joints and whatnot feels good. Floorboards look like they're in pretty good shape. Full set of Flowmaster mufflers on this. And uh, before I get too far away from it, I would like to point out we do have drum brakes in the rear, uh, but of course, part of our uh, process here, we take them all apart, make sure that everything is tight and right in there, you know, check for wheel cylinders, misassemblies, yada, 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 the whole nine yards. Um, outside of that, exhaust continuing to look good with the mandrel bends all the way up into the H-pipe here. Uh, we do have an automatic transmission in this car. This is a turbo 350, a three-speed automatic with a one-to-one uh, uh, -one final drive ratio, which is just fine for the 360 rear end there. It's sporty, but not overbearing. You should, you should still be able to drive this thing you know, relatively uh, easily in modern traffic. Moving forward to that, I would like to point out we have a set of full-length jet-coated headers here. Coming forward of that even more so, uh, this is the underside of our 427 big block Chevy, and I'm gonna get to that in just a second. Um, front end, we check, all our, um, we check out all of our front ends all the time on all of our cars. And something else I'd like to point out too is we do have the matching shocks up here in the front, so I would imagine this thing rides pretty well. Unfortunately, Greg went and snuck and drove it before I got to, so that kind of stinks. But outside of that, um, I would imagine it does very well. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention while I was back there too. Um, it does look, we have, uh, look like we have aftermarket springs in it as well, and there's a matching set, uh, name brand matching set in the back as well. Um, ball joints look like they're in good shape. It looks like brand new uh, inner or outer tie rod ends. All the uh, boots look like they're in good shape. Looks like a brand new lower ball joint on both sides. Top one looks like just in fair shape. Uh, disc brakes in the front is something else I'd like to point out, and it is power brakes, and I'll show you that when we get up underneath the car. Let's, uh, or I should say underneath the hood. Let's check out wheels and tires. All right, guys, for rolling stock, we have the ultimate in wheel and tire package. At least I think so, because I absolutely adore these. Uh, Firestone wide oval. Uh, Bias ply look-alike tires. These are actually radial tires. They perform like radial tires, but they have the legendary look of the old school bias ply setup. And of course, you've got the, uh, the matte inner uh, billet outer edge, uh, American Racing five spoke, looks like the torque thrust style of wheel, which is just awesome. And then on top of all of this, I'm just now coming to realize this has drilled and slotted rotors as opposed to just the stock rotors, which is also a cool uh, upgrade for you know the venting and so that the brakes cool properly. Let's go check out the rears. All right, back here we have a matching wheel and tire. 
Like I mentioned, we do have drum brakes back here, and it is, uh, I didn't get you the size in the front, they are both the same. It's an FR70 R15 is the size on this. So uh, I guess now we get to take a look at the 427 under the hood. All right, guys, this is where the magic happens. This is what makes all the noise. This is a 427 big block Chevy. The block itself is a 1979, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 454, yeah, January 30th, uh, 1979, 454 block. However, it's had all the proper machine work done and it does have the different crank in it to make it the legendary 427. Now, this thing does have a set of uh, relatively stock cylinder heads on it, does have a performer RPM intake on it. Sitting atop the intake is a Holley four barrel carburetor, a 4154 barrel. This carburetor has vacuum secondaries on it, which matches up to the automatic very well. It has straight boosters, if I didn't already say, 750 CFM, and uh, it does have the mechanical choke on it, but it's wired open. This is a performance machine, and that's how these guys uh, decided to set it up. Outside of all of that stuff, uh, I would like to point out it does have a chrome water pump and um, a timing cover on it. Looks like a nice uh, pre-made fuel line for the thing too, which what should be on the car. Does have uh, this right here is telling me that it has actual uh, mechanical gauges inside the car too, which is also a good thing. Um, it does have the factory style hose clamps. Looks like a factory style uh, copper tank radiator, which is always good. Um, I'd like to point out it does have a set of Taylor wires on it. It does have uh, looks like a upgrade distributor in it for what would be in it for a 1969 so that is an HEI distributor here in the back. Um, you can see the top of our jet coated headers here. Um, also I'd like to point out that all the rubber hoses look like they have been replaced. Um, outside of that we do have this is a faker top for this battery. This is a, actually a uh, just a modern style battery and this top just covers it so you do get modern performance without you know having to deal with the old school filling up the battery with the uh, distilled water and such. Power brakes I, as I had mentioned underneath um, and it does have, uh, looks like a brand new wiper motor on it as well. All the belts look like they're in good shape. Chrome alternator, chrome, uh, I guess, bracket for it here. It does have power steering with a fancy pulley on it. It does have a more modern fan in this. This is what I think we refer to these as Flexalite fans. And as the engine RPM picks up, these blades flatten out. And you don't get, ouch, you don't get so much uh, drag with the, uh, the fan. Outside of all of that, looks like a new inner fender liners. Looks like the firewall looks like it's in excellent shape relatively recent alignment on the car and as you as I said underneath looks like the shocks are brand new brand new power steering lines I mean outside of that it's that kind of pretty much sums it up guys if you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway make sure to call time with the number below and let us park this Yanko in your driveway